So, I'm here in the Water Cube in Cape Town uh, with Steven. Yeah, our, my well, name is Steven Dunko. Everybody calls me Max. I was already saying I call you Max all yeah, the time. Yeah, of course. Uh, Steven, please, yeah, introduce yourself and. Uh, well, uh, everybody calls me Max. Uh, I work for Unido now, but uh, I work with the interface between the land and sea, coastal waters along the Guinea Gulf. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here because I, I'm working for the UN Water Africa Group. And uh, we're having fun in Cape Town talking about water in the urban areas of Africa. Okay, what would you say are the main issues now, especially in Africa? It's a highly urbanization uh, trend it, right now? It is, it is rapid. I mean, urbanization rates has more than triple the normal population rate, which is already high. Mm -hmm. And that means that there's a lot of pressure on the urban areas, which normally are on the coasts. And that's where my interests come in, yeah. because the coasts have been pressured. Yeah. The habitat of the coast has been destroyed. The marine has been polluted because the land is polluted. It goes into the water, it goes into the sea, and everything you put in the sea it washes back at you. Yeah. And so, what would you say? Okay, what are the, the next, the immediate steps that need to be taken in in your view? Stop dumping the waste, human waste, into the waters, which end up in the sea, which come back to us and gives us disease. And we can only stop that if we start reusing the waste that we produce. Reusing wastewater. Way. Absolutely. Wastewater, and solid waste. Reusing all the stuff, we as much of it as we can. Mm. So we have so little to dispose of. And there are technologies available to do that? Absolutely. So is it just political will or what What would you say is the main issue? What's, what's, what's stopping this right I now? I don't think it's political will because governments in Africa are not like governments in Europe or America. It's a question of this must be done on a commercial basis and uh, no government can subsidize waste in Africa, not anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the new trend is to engage private sector individuals mm -hmm. who make profits out of managing waste. That's the only way to sustain it. And that's what we're trying to promote in West Africa, West and Central Africa. Okay, well, yeah, well, let's get that started then, right? Eh? I'd uh, say. Well, it's called the Guinea Current Commission. Yeah. And in the future, I hope that uh, once we've set it up, Everybody would know that the Guinea Current Commission not, does not only protect the sea, but also protects the land and the people and the cities. Okay. And, and that's why we are here. Great. So, Max, <laughs> closing remarks on World Water Day. Your message to the world, because you've been around some time in the water sector. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know what's going on. What would be your message? Uh, the, the my device, message is that yeah. if Luke grew up, then the table Monday is going to be blue tonight. <laughs>